Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and if you're new to this channel, welcome. Here we review productivity apps for personal or business use and also make tutorials of the apps that we like the most. Today we're going to review Soho Projects. This app will help you track your projects, your milestones and your tasks and also collaborate with your team members. Let's start. When you log into Soho Projects, I start on the Projects page where I can find all my projects, but you can customize where you want to start. For example, you can start in the home screen where you can find information about your projects or in the feed where you can see activities and changes. Here, you can change the view and filter your projects to find the ones you need. You can also change the columns you see to personalize your view. To add a new project, click on the New Project button and complete the field. If you want to open a project, just click on it. Here you can see the list of tasks related to this project. And you can also change the view, filter the tasks, and customize the columns you see. On the top you have the project menu where you can find all the related modules. The dashboard will show you a snapshot of the status of the project as well as the project details. You can also use the Gantt chart, attach documents, report time, review timesheets, and more. To add a new task, just click on the button and complete the fields. On the left, you can see the navigation bar. On the top of the navigation bar, you can find the different modules of Soho projects where you can find information about all your projects. Next, we have the work overview section where you can find all your tasks, issues, milestones, and timesheets together. And below, you can see your recent projects. On the top right corner, you will find the search icon, the notifications, the setup, and your profile icon. Overall, I like the design of Soho projects and the way they organize the modules. Regarding features, these are the features I like the most. You can change and customize the different views of a lot of sections, so it fits your preference and you can find information easily when you need it. Also, you can change the way the information is displayed, choosing between a Kanban view, a plain view, and a classic view. Another feature I like is that you can create task dependencies, so you set the order in which they have to be completed. Regarding tasks, you can have different columns to show the information about the status of the task and in this case you can show the completion percentage. The last feature I want to mention is the feeds tab. Here you will find a log of all the activities that happen to the records you own or follow and you can make comments and collaborate with your team. There are other features that I like related to customization, automations and integration but we will talk about them later in the video. Let's go over customizations. Soho Projects has a lot of customization features built in. As I mentioned before, you can customize the views to fit your needs. You can also create project templates that you can use to create projects really fast, copying all the information from the template, including the list of tasks. In the settings, you can change the way that Soho Projects looks like, as well as the landing page. And also you can change the notification settings and any information about the portal, like adding a custom domain, adding business hours, turning on features like the budget feature, timesheets, and more. Under the customization tab, you can find the task templates that you can use to add a set of tasks to a project in a quick way. You can also find the layouts and the field section, where you can change the layout of the projects, tasks, timesheets, and issues, and also add or remove fields to the layouts. Something I like is that you can create multiple layouts and assign them to different users based on their permission levels. Regarding automations, there are a few things we can do in Soho Projects. Blueprints allow you to create a workflow for your tasks, so the process followed to complete a task is always the same. You can also update fields and send email alerts automatically. With workflow rules, you can set a criteria and automatically make changes to your tasks based on the criteria. For example, every time you create a task, you can assign it automatically to a project owner. Unfortunately, at this time, this feature doesn't work with templates meaning that even if the tasks created by a template match the criteria, they won't trigger the workflow. It only works if you manually add a task. Another automation feature is that you can create email templates and email alerts to notify people about changes in the tasks. This only works with blueprints. Finally, you can create webhooks to push information to third-party apps. Soho Projects has a dedicated marketplace where you can find all the integrations available. There are a few native integrations between Soho Projects, like Soho CRM, Soho Desk, and Soho Click, which are free, but also some other integrations that are paid. 
There are also integrations available for Google Drive, Dropbox, and Box, but they only allow you to link files to your projects. You cannot link folders. Soho Projects works with Zapier, so you can send information to other apps that don't have an integration developed yet. If you want to know more about Zapier, I made some videos about it. I will leave a link in the video description. I think it will take you some time to master the admin role in Soho Projects. It is simple to get started, but there are some features that are not 100% polished yet. Also, you have templates, layouts, fields, tasks, tasks lists, and other parts that you have to combine correctly to make sure that your users have a great experience. Like I said, it is easy to start if you're creating your projects manually, but once you want to add some automation, it will get more complicated. Adding users is really simple, as well as customizing the views and software to fit your needs. Also, installing some of the integrations is straightforward, and changing settings about the company is really easy as well. The last thing we're going to go over is pricing. Today, we review the enterprise version of Zoho Projects, which is $10 per user per month, billed monthly. This price is very close to other project managers that have similar or even less features than Zoho Projects. If you would like to test it out, they have a 10-day trial period available. They also have a free version, but it has limited features and it is for teams that have up to three users. I recommend Soho Projects to anyone that is familiar with a project management software and it is looking to switch to a better software that it is easy to start with. You also get good features, but it will take some time until you get familiar with how they work and what they are for. Please keep in mind that there are some helpful features that are not available, like assigning tasks to a project owner automatically from a template or creating workflows related to the project status. If you would like something simpler, you could try ClickUp or Rike which are really well designed and easy to use. If you want more features or more customization, you could check out Asana or Monday.com. I haven't reviewed these apps yet, but I'm planning to do it soon, so I will add the links to the video description. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a project management software? And if you do, which one are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. And also remember to check out the other videos I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.